Hello everyone, my name is Claudio Coaviva, I'm software architect here at Conoco. This is the first video in a series of four where I'll be showing the integration of ConConnect Enterprise and Locked Identity Provider to implement some of the main OpenID Connect based authentication and authorization use cases. The ConConnect and Okta integration topology is depicted here in this diagram. As you can see, the gateway has been split in two sublayers. The first one up there it's the control plane, used by admins to create new APIs and policies. And then the control plane responsible for publishing those APIs and policies to the data plane, which is the second sublayer, responsible for the actual request processing and API consumption. My topology has two data planes. The first one running locally and the second running as a Docker container in a AWS EC2 instance. The integration is possible because Con provides uh, a specific plugin to implement the OAuth OpenID Connect flows from the gateway side. So in this sense, the consumer will be submitted to Okta's authentication processes before being allowed to consume the API. I have chosen the following use cases for this series. The first one, client credentials for application authentication. Second one, authorization code for user authentication. Third one, introspection for token validation and access control based on Octa's groups and claims. Again, today I'm going to demo the client credentials flow typically used for application authentication. Let's get it started. Initially, a brief description of Con Connect Enterprise. Connect is a cloud-native connectivity platform that has been hosted as a service and can take care of all connectivity use cases across any environment, including virtual machines and Kubernetes, for both gateway and mesh, and for both north, south, east, west traffics. So here's the Con Connect Enterprise Control Plane admin GUI showing the service I have created before in the Service Hub. Service Hub is the heart of ConConnect. It stores all existing services definitions and allows admins and developers to search, discover, consume, and reuse those services. So let's check the service. The service here has only one version, but if necessary, you can define multiple versions with different definitions and policies. If we click on the, on the version, we're going to see that the service is already being exposed by some routes. Today, we're going to consume and protect the slash OIDC route. However, no policy is enabled to it. So anyone can start consuming the route without any restriction. And then in this sense, it will be very, very critical to define apply policies in order to control its consumption. And these policies, in our case again, will be OpenID Connect based. Besides ConConnect, my demo environment has some previously created Okta applications. As a matter of fact, there are two of them. For today's session, we're going to use the ConCloud Credentials app. So now it's time to create our Connect data plane running on an AWS EC2 instance as a Docker container. The EC2 is already running and Docker is already installed. The control plane has a specific component called Runtime Manager, which is responsible for monitoring the data planes we have instantiated so far. If we click on Configure Runtime, we're going to see the script we should run to instantiate a Docker-based data plane. So here's my EC2 terminal here. And uh, now we're going to run the script in order to get our first data plane up and running. I have already updated the script in order to use my Kong Connect credentials. So we are pulling the Kong Docker image. And uh, ready to launch, enjoy the flight. 
So data plane is not, not just deployed, but all the APIs, they are uh, already available for me from the API consumption perspective. So if we try to consume it, uh, sending a request to port 8000 to OIDC route slash get, we are consuming the, uh, the route as expected. However, since we don't have any policy in place to control the route consumption, I'm able to send as many requests as I want. So let's go back to connect control plane to define the OpenID connect based policy and control the route consumption. So here's the, the version, the, the route, and then we're gonna add the OpenID connect plugin configured to protect the route. Here's the OpenID Connect plugin. The plugin is expecting four parameters in order to uh, to integrate with Okta. First of all, the client ID parameter. Which is here, issued by Okta. The second is the client secret. The third, I would say the most important one, that's the issuer, that's the Octa's endpoint, so the data plane will be able to connect to it and then implement the OpenID Connect authentication process. Finally, the last one is the scope. I have created the scope one, the scope for these uh, them over here. So now we're able to save our settings, new settings. And then now we can see the, uh, the client credentials route has got a plugin enabled to it, the OpenID Connect plugin. And uh, if we go back to our terminal and try to consume the route, this time the API gateway won't allow us because we're not providing the credentials. So if we try to send the same request, but this time including our credentials, again, the client ID and client secret, we'll be able to consume the route. In fact, if we take this token here, issued by, by Okta, and then if we use it in this jwt.io website, we'll be able to decode the token and check all the fields inside of it. So one last capability I'd like to show you today, provided by the OpenID Connect plugin, is what we call upstream header injection. That means I'm going to extend the request with extra headers based on the token issued by Okta. In this sense, the upstream or microservice behind the data plane will be able to receive more information about the authentication process. As an exercise, I'm going to inject a header based on the ISS field which is Octa's issuer endpoint. So again, let's go back one more time to con connect control plane in order to set an extra OpenID Connect plugin parameters. This time will be um, upstream headers claims with ISS field, and then we're gonna call our new header as issuer header and then we're going to update the plugin again let's uh, consume the route one more time and then as we can see we got a brand new header injected in our request that concludes my first kong and octa demo hope you see you in the next video thanks a lot